Hi! For this practice, if you normally use blocks to reach the floor, go ahead and grab them. If you don't have them, use what you have. These oatmeal tins are great. A thicker box of noodles can be sturdy. If you have kids, maybe a couple boxes of their toys. Anything you can gently rest your hands on. As you grab those, we will start seated, so you might also want to grab a pillow, a blanket, or a towel that you can roll up and sit on. When you're ready, meet me in a seated position. Have your hands on your laps. Palms can either face down for more grounding energy, or palms can face up for more receiving. Close your eyes, roll your shoulders back, and sit up tall. Begin to tune inward. Gently press aside any thoughts you brought with you into your space. And take a moment to commit to being present right here, right now, just as you are. No expectations. A big part of being present is being aware of the breath. So let's exhale everything out, completely empty out, and pause when you get to the bottom of your exhale. Starting from your belly, take a deep inhale through the nose, pausing when you get to the top of your breath, Open mouth, sigh, let it go. Again, pausing at the bottom. Deep inhale through the nose. Feel your belly expand, ribs open, chest lift. Find stillness at the top. Exhale, release. Few more. Deep inhale through the nose. Entire front body is opening. Exhale, let it all go. Inhale through the nose. And exhale, release. Couple more on your own. On your next inhale, lift your right arm up and over for a side stretch. Keep pressing your right hip down, left arm is down by your side. Inhale, sit up tall, cross your right hand to your left knee for a twist. Left hand comes behind you. Every inhale, you sit up taller. Every exhale, you twist a little deeper. Keep your shoulders rolled back and down away from your ears. On your next inhale, lift your back arm, your left arm, all the way up and over. Cross your left arm on top of the right. You can either grab opposite shoulders, bring the backs of your hands together, or full eagle arms, palms together. Lift the elbows, press the wrists forward, tuck your chin and round your spine. Feel the space between your shoulder blades open up. And you can play with how far forward you reach your elbows and that might change the stretch that you feel. Inhale, sit up tall. Unravel and we'll switch sides. Left arm reaches up and over as your left hip stays grounded. Right hand down by your side. Inhale, sit up tall, cross your left hand to your right knee. Right arm comes behind you. Again, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to deepen in your twist. <clears throat> Thank you.
On your next inhale, reach your right arm up and over, cross it on top of the left. Again, grab shoulders, backs of hands together or palms together. Lift the elbows, tuck your chin, round your spine. Feel your belly scooping in as you stretch the back. Inhale to sit up tall and make your way to all fours, hands and knees. So your shoulders will come directly over the wrists, knees, hips width apart. Spread your fingers. As you inhale, drop your belly down, reach your chest forward, roll the shoulders back, arch. As you exhale, push the mat away and round your spine. Inhale, tailbone lifts, arching into cow pose. Exhale, dome your back into cat pose. Keep going, moving on your own timing with your breath. If you like to add any organic movement, you can move side to side, create some hip circles, neck circles. Take what you need to get some kinks out as we warm up. Start to move with your ujjayi breath, inhaling and exhaling through your nose, using this breath to build heat from the inside out. On your next inhale, begin to find a neutral spine. Make sure the left shoulder is directly over the left wrist. Reach your left leg straight back, lift the leg up, and inhale, reach your right arm forward. Exhale, round your back, bringing your elbow in towards your knee. Inhale, straighten the arm and leg. Inhale, contract. Inhale, lengthen, excuse me. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach and exhale, set your hand and knee down. Second side. Right leg reaches back and up. Inhale, left arm forward. Exhale, contract elbow to knee. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale in, inhale reach, exhale contract, inhale lengthen, exhale hand and knee come down. One by one bring your elbows down to the mat and step your feet back to a forearm plank. Elbows are directly under the shoulders, forearms are grounding down keeping your shoulder blades nice and broad, <clears throat> heels reaching back. Strong core. On your inhale, reach your right leg two inches off the mat and hold. Keep reaching both heels back evenly. Exhale, set your right foot down. Inhale, left leg lifts, hold. Exhale, set your foot down. Separate your feet a little wider. Inhale, reach your right arm straight forward. Roll your right hip down. Hold it. Exhale, elbow down. Inhale, reach the left arm forward. Push the left hip back down. Exhale, hold it. You're back in your forearm plank. Chest forward, heels back, tailbone reaching towards your heels. No arching in the lower back. Exhale, drop your knees, untuck your toes, sit back into child's pose. You can rock your forehead side to side, massaging between your eyebrows. As you inhale, feel your back and your ribs rise. 
As you exhale, melt your chest closer to your mat or your floor. <clears throat> On your next inhale, shift forward onto your hands, tuck your toes under and reach your hips high, downward facing dog. Begin to pedal through your feet, bending one knee and then the other. Opening up the calves and the Achilles. Ground down through your hands and press the mat away. If you're still moving, begin to find stillness in your pose, heels reaching back evenly. Ground down through your thumbs and your first fingers. Turn the armpits in to face each other. Slowly as you exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet. Separate your feet hips width. Bend the knees and hang in ragdoll. You can grab opposite elbows, sway side to side. Relax your head, maybe shake it yes and no. Weight is forward towards the ball mounds of your feet to release your lower back. On your next exhale, release your arms, bend your knees deeper, and inhale, roll up your spine all the way to stand. Arms reach above your head, gaze up. Exhale, flat back, fold all the way down. Inhale, walk forward to plank position. Exhale, lower chaturanga halfway. Inhale, back to high plank. Exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet. Inhale, roll up your spine, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, flat back all the way down. Inhale, walk forward to plank. You can also drop your knees down as you exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, walk your hands back. Your feet have not moved yet. Inhale, roll up, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, fold down. <clears throat> Inhale, walk forward to plank position. Elbows hug in as you lower chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, walk your hands back. Inhale to rise, arms above your head. Exhale, dive down. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale chaturanga. Inhale plank. Exhale walk your hands back. Inhale roll up, arms up, reach. Exhale fold. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale lower halfway. Inhale, high plank, hold this plank. Feel your inner arms rolling forward. Neck is long, shoulders back. Exhale, send your hips straight back to downward facing dog. Couple breaths here. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, and exhale, walk your feet towards your hands. Top of your mat, inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Maintain your flat back, bring your hands to your hips, and inhale all the way to stand. On your inhale, reach your arms back up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Plant your palms and step your left foot far back so you're in a lunge. Left hand stays down, inhale, right arm up, twist. Hug your right hip under. Exhale, lower the right hand. Inhale, lift both arms up, high lunge. Deep bend in the right knee, slight bend in the back knee. Tailbone down, ribs in. On your next exhale, you're going to straighten your right leg as you push both hands down and back. Inhale, bend the right knee, lift the arms up. Exhale, press to rise. 
Inhale up, sweeping the arms. Exhale, push. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, bend. Exhale, rise. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, reach out through your knuckles, arch. Keep your legs as they are. As you exhale, reach your arms forward and pause. You're reaching forward on a diagonal. Lower belly lifting up off your right thigh. Right hip hugging back and under. Let the right leg fire up. Bend the left knee. Sweep your left thigh all the way forward and up, one leg in mountain pose. Drop the left hip down. Stay for an inhale. As you exhale, twist to face the left, right arm reaches forward. Inhale, reach both arms back up to center. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Keep your hips square as you kick your left leg straight back, warrior three. Left hip is rolling down, right hip, right glute hugging into the midline. Flex your left heel back. Left toes should be facing straight down to the floor. Now listen carefully. For this next part of the flow, you can keep your hands at your heart or to help with balance, bring your hands down to blocks, whatever item you have, maybe a chair. On your exhale, bend both knees, curtsy the left knee behind the right. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, squat down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Exhale, straighten the legs. Good, couple more. You can always go slower than what I'm doing. On your next inhale, straighten both legs. Exhale, reach the back foot down, back to your high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist to face the right. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, windmill your hands down. Inhale, step back to plank. You can lower halfway chaturanga or down to your belly. Inhale to cobra pose or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot all the way forward. You're in your lunge. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold in deeper. Inhale to rise, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, hands to your heart, second side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant your palms, reach your right foot back, lunge. Right hand stays down, inhale, left arm up, twist. Hug the left hip under, right hamstring reaching up to the ceiling. Exhale, lower the left hand down. Inhale, reach both arms up, high lunge. Again, drop the tailbone, knit the ribs in. Stay for an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to straighten the left leg and create resistance with your arms as you lower your arms down and push your palms back, standing tall. Inhale, bend the left knee, lunge. Exhale, push to rise. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lift. Couple more. Inhale, bend. Exhale, up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, rise. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, interlace your hands behind you, other thumb on top. Inhale, reach out through your knuckles, arch. Exhale, reach both arms forward, you're on a diagonal. Pull the left hip back and under. Lift your lower belly in and up. Strong left leg. Now you can bend the right knee as a little spring. Sweep your right leg forward, one leg in mountain. Drop the right hip down. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, twist to face the right, left arm forward. Inhale, arms up to center. 
exhale, hands to your heart. Keep your hips level and square as you kick your right leg straight back, warrior three. Hold this first one, roll the right hip down, flex the heel back. If you need something to hold on to, you can start to grab your objects. On your next exhale, bend both knees, curtsy. Inhale, straighten both legs. Exhale, bend. Inhale, reach out through your heels. Exhale, take your time. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, curtsy. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. One more time, inhale, reach back and lower your right toes back and down, return to your lunge. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, twist to face the left, right arm forward. Inhale, reach back and down. Exhale, windmill your hands down. Inhale, step back to plank this time Exhale, lower down to your belly. Untuck your toes and slide your hands closer to your lower ribs, elbows up. Inhale, lift the chest, low cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise, shoulders back. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise. Exhale, let it go. Inhale up, exhale down. This time tuck your toes, straighten the legs. Inhale, press up to plank. Exhale, hips back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg straight up. Exhale, step your right foot all the way forward, lunge. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step your left foot forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release down again. Inhale, flat back to stand, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Sun A. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, flat back, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, plant your palms, step back to plank position. Inhale, shift the shoulders forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, shoulders roll back. Exhale, downward facing dog, couple breaths. You can always bring those knees down for any chaturanga that we do. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or lightly hop forward to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back to rise, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, hands to your heart again. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, step or jump back, exhaling to chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend and exhale to downward facing dog. You can also always skip the chaturangas anytime you need to. Inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale, knee to nose, round your back. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, tap your right knee to your right shoulder. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, tap your left arm, pause, straighten your right leg out to the left. Roll your left heel down, inhale, lift the left arm up, fall in triangle. Stay here or lift the right leg and take a few pulses, engaging the inner right thigh. Wherever you are, stay for an inhale. As you exhale, lower the left hand down. Inhale, right leg lifts all the way up and back, three-legged dog. Open up your hip, bend your knee, take ankle circles or full hip circles. Make sure you get both directions. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, step your right foot all the way forward, warrior two. Right toes facing forward, left heel comes down. Inhale, open up the arms. Energy through both arms. Shoulders down, tailbone down. Gazing over your right middle finger, flip your right palm up. 
Inhale, reach back, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Right hand comes all the way down to the inside of your right leg. Left arm sweeps across your left ear. If you cannot reach the floor, grab your block or your object. Notice if your tailbone is reaching out, poking out. Pull the right hip, right glute in and under. Strong left leg, shoulders away from your ears. Without moving your legs, inhale, lift the upper body, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the right leg, grab your right wrist, reach back, stretch. Exhale, bump your left hip back, triangle pose. Now both arms and both legs are long. And again, you can grab your block underneath your right hand if you need a little assistance. Try to keep both sides of your waists long, right waist rolling forward. Tailbone reaching back towards your left heel. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, reach your left arm across your left ear. Inhale, lift the right arm up and hold it, chest forward and up. Strong legs, inhale, rise. Pull the left heel in, bend your left knee, drop down, side lunge. So now you're lunging towards the back of your mat. Left knee is bent, right leg is straight. You can flex your right toes up to the ceiling. Hands can stay on the mat. You can bring your hands to your chest, half bind, full bind, any variation you like to practice. Make sure your left knee is tracking in the same direction as your left toes. Bring your hands down if they're lifted, crawl to the front of your mat, pivot to face the front, lunge. Inhale, step back to plank and make your way to downward facing dog. Flow or no flow, we meet with the tailbone high. Second side, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, round the back. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, tap your left shoulder. Inhale, back. Exhale, tap your right arm, pause, straighten your left leg to the right. Roll your right heel all the way down. Inhale, right arm up, fall in triangle. Stay here or lift the left leg and pulse it. Wherever you are, stay for an inhale. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, left leg up, three-legged dog. Open the hip, bend the knee. Take your ankle circles or your hip circles in both directions. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, step all the way forward, setting up for warrior two. Right heel spirals down. Inhale, lift and open up the arms. Make sure your left knee is tracking straight forward, not dipping in towards the big toe. Drop the left hip down, tailbone down. Ribs in. Flip your left palm to face up. Inhale, reach back, reverse your warrior. Exhale, left hand to the inside of your left foot. Extended side angle. Grab your block if you're using it. Again, tailbone towards the right heel. You want a nice diagonal from your right wrist to your right ankle. Long spine. Keep your legs exactly as they are. Deep bend in the left knee. And then let the left leg fire up as you inhale, lift the upper body, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the left leg, arms up. Grab the left wrist, reach back. Exhale, forward and down, triangle pose. Again, legs and arms are long. Grab your block if you need it. Both sides of your waist even. Right hip reaching back. Stay for an inhale. As you exhale, reach your right arm across your right ear. Inhale, float the left arm up, hold it. Keep rolling the left waist forward. And inhale, stand. Pull the right heel in, bend the right knee. Again, you're going to the back of your mat in your side lunge. Any arm variation here, make sure the right knee is pointing in the same direction as your right toes. 
and just breathe into your hips, inner thighs, and right ankle. Bring your hands down. If they're lifted, crawl to the front of your mat. Pivot forward so you're in your lunge. Inhale, step back to plank. Flow or no flow, make your way to downward facing dog. Couple breaths here. Use down dog to tune back in. If you set an intention, connect back in. Inner thighs reaching back, spine long. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop forward towards your hands. Separate your feet hips width, inhale, halfway lift. With your peace sign fingers and your thumbs, hook your big toes for Padangustasana. Inhale, long arms flat back. Exhale, bend your elbows to pull your chest down. Lift your shoulders up and away from your ears. Shift your weight forward towards the ball mounds of your feet. And bend your knees as much as you need to. Connection between your belly and your thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your feet all the way together. Bend your knees and reach the arms forward and up chair pose. Weight is back in your heels. You should be able to lift and spread the toes. Lift the lower belly in. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, lower halfway, sweep your arms back. Inhale, lift both heels as high as you can. Exhale, lower the heels. Inhale, reach forward chair. Exhale, lower halfway, diver. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower the heels. Again, inhale, reach forward and up. Exhale, lower halfway, arms back. Inhale, lift the heels. Good, exhale, lower with control. Inhale, forward to chair. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower the heels. Inhale, reach forward to chair. You can either stay in chair and hold or make your way to Bakasana Crow Pose, your arm balance. If you are still in chair, sink those hips deeper. Lift the belly in and up. Wherever you are, you're going to step back or jump back and make your way to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, step your right foot all the way forward, warrior one. Left heel comes down. Now pull your right hip back. Keep both hips, both shoulders square to the front. Inhale, lift the arms up. Ribs in. Exhale, interlace your hands behind you again. Inhale, reach back. You can straighten the right leg. And then exhale, re-bend your right knee, humble warrior, bow down. Pull the right hip back and under, keep reaching out through your left heel. Inhale, reach out through the knuckles, return to warrior one. Maybe gaze up, maybe palms together, sink the hips lower, and then flip the back heel up, high lunge. Exhale, lower both hands down and lift the left leg all the way up, standing splits. Many options here. Hands can come to your blocks. Hands can stay on the mat, or you can reach one arm or both arms behind your calf, like I'm doing. Think forehead towards your right shin. Focus on opening the right hamstrings. Don't forget to breathe. To come out, bend your right knee, reach your left toes back, lunge. Plant your palms. And inhale, step back to plank. Stack your left shoulder over the left wrist. Roll to the left side plank. Again, options. You can stay here. You can reach your right arm across your right ear. You can take a tree pose, bringing your right foot to your inner calf or inner thigh. Or like we did in Parangustasana, you can hook your big toe. Whichever variation you're doing, press down to lift the hips. Stay for an inhale. 
Exhale, unwind to plank, maybe one-legged plank, and flow to down dog. Second side. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step forward, setting up for warrior one. So start with your feet. Make sure your feet are on separate tracks. Right heel down, left hip back, arms straight up above your head. Ribs in. Stay for an inhale. On your exhale, you interlace your hands behind you. Inhale, straighten the left leg, reach back, arch. Exhale, rebend, bow down, humble warrior. Keep pulling that left hip back and under. Ground down your right heel, right pinky toe. Inhale to rise, arms up. Maybe gaze up, maybe palms together. One more inhale. Exhale, lift the back heel up. Lower your hands down, standing splits. Any arm variation here, you may notice one side is more open than the other. Take what you need. Breathe into your left hamstring. Forehead towards your left shin. Couple more breaths. To come out of this, you start by bending the left knee. Right leg lowers and reaches back to your lunge. Plant your palms. Inhale, step back to plank. Right shoulder over the right wrist. Roll to your right hand, right foot, side plank. Take whatever variation side plank you did on the first side. Wherever you are, you are pushing down into the mat to keep the hips lifted. Stay for an inhale, lift higher. Exhale, release to your plank, maybe one-legged plank. Either exhale straight to down dog or take your flow. Hips high. Inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees, step or hop to your hands, keeping your feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, chair pose again. Inhale, lift the arms, weight in the heels. This time, exhale, bring your hands together and twist to face the right, left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Now look at your knees, make sure they are level and together. Right knee might need to press forward. Hands can stay at your heart or you can expand your arms open. Stay in your side chair or you can make your way to your side crow if it's in your practice. Wherever you are, just hold and breathe. If you're in side crow, return to side chair right where you came from. Inhale, reach the arms up to center, chair pose. Send your weight to your left leg, lift your right leg up, one leg in mountain. Eagle, right thigh crosses on top of the left, right arm under the left. You did the arms earlier. Bend the left knee deeply, hug your right hip back, elbows and knees to the midline. You can stay lifted or you can round into a little ball, elbows towards your knees. Take your time. Find one point to focus on. If you round it, inhale, rise back up to eagle. Unravel your arms, unravel your legs, one leg in mountain, straighten your right leg forward. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Exhale, step your foot down and shake it out. Chair pose, second side, drop the hips, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart, twist to face your left. Right elbow is on the outside of your left leg. Check out your knees. Make sure they're together. Stay here or open your arms or make your way to side crow. If you are still in your side chair, keep those hips low. Weight back. Push the top palm down into the bottom. 
If you are in side crow, make your way back to side chair one step at a time. Stay low, inhale, reach the arm center, chair pose. Wait to your right foot, inhale, lift the left leg, one leg in mountain. Eagle, left thigh on top of the right, left arm under the right. Stay with the chest lifted or round into a ball. Keep the shoulders away from the ears, elbows and wrists pressing away from you. If you rounded, slowly make your way back up to eagle with the chest lifted. Unravel the arms, unravel the legs, stand tall, one leg in mountain. Straighten your left leg in front of you. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Both legs straight and strong. Exhale, feet together, shake it out. Inhale, lift the arms above your head. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Plant your palms, step or jump back, and take your final flow to Downward Facing Dog. Pause here, take a couple breaths. Notice how you feel in this down dog, maybe compared to your first one when you started. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop through to a seated position. Keep the knees bent, plant your feet, reach your arms forward, and roll down to your back one vertebrae at a time. Arms come down by your sides. Bridge pose. On your inhale, lift your hips up and hold it. Arms can stay by your side or you can interlace your hands and roll the heads of your shoulders underneath your back. Ground down through your left foot and inhale, straighten your right leg straight up to the ceiling, flexing your heel away from you. Stamp the ceiling with your foot. Keep your hips lifted, pull the right toes back, lower the right foot down, lift the hips higher, take an inhale. Release your hands, exhale, roll down one vertebrae at a time. Pause here for a moment. Same thing again. When you're ready, press, press down through the arms, lift the hips up. If you interlaced hands, do the opposite thumb on top, roll the shoulders under. Pull the right heel foot in. Inhale, lift the left leg up, hold it. Keep lifting the hips higher, heel up to the ceiling. Slowly lower the left foot down. Inhale, lift both your hips higher. Exhale, slowly release. Here, I'm gonna give you just a brief moment to play. So two more back bends of your choice. If you wanna do bridge again, you can do bridge with both feet down. You can lift each leg up again, or you can take it into upward facing bow like I'm doing also known as wheel pose. Wherever you are, bridge, wheel, hold it for three to five long breaths. When you're ready, you'll make your way out of it, rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Again, you will have one more back bend of your choice. Or of course, if you want to do even more back bends, go ahead and pause this video now and take your time. When you're ready to join with me, you'll replay and join back in. Wherever you are, you're slowly going to return to your back, one vertebrae at a time. 
Once you're on your back, keep your knees bent and windshield wipe your knees side to side to release your lower back. Then we'll take a twist to reset and neutralize the spine. Extend your left leg straight in front of you, hug your right knee into your chest, and take a few hip circles in both directions. Cross your right knee over to the left for a twist. Open up your right arm, gaze over your right shoulder. Try to keep both shoulders down. Inhale, bring your right knee back to center and slowly switch sides, right leg long, left knee comes into your chest. Take your hip circles if you like, both directions. And then cross your left knee over to the right for your twist. Left arm opens out to the side, turn your gaze over your left shoulder, and again both shoulders pressing down to the mat. Inhale your knee back to center. Hug both knees into your chest and take a few rocks side to side or circles massaging your back. Eventually, start to rock back and forth, up and down the length of your spine. A few rocks until you rock all the way up to sitting and surprise, one more core exercise, boat pose. Hands can rest behind your thighs or you can reach your arms forward. Inhale, lower halfway, straighten your legs in front of you. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, hold. One more. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Maybe straighten your legs. Maybe reach the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees. Give yourself a big squeeze. Hug your knees into your chest. Drop your chin. All right, from here, stay seated. Sitting up nice and tall, Janu Shirsasana. Let's keep the right leg straight first. Bring your left foot into your inner right thigh. Lift the arms, twist to face your right leg, and fold forward. So you're hugging the right hip back as the left shoulder drops down. And if you can't reach your foot, you're grabbing your shin, your knee, anywhere you can reach. Long spine. Inhale to sit up tall and we'll switch legs. Left leg straightens, right sole of your foot comes to your inner left thigh. Inhale, lift the arms, twist to face the left leg, drop the right shoulder down. Hug the left hip back and breathe into your left hamstring. Inhale to sit up tall, straighten both legs in front of you, one more fold. Inhale, lift the arms, exhale over. Now, if you cannot reach your feet without rounding, try bending your knees and lengthen your spine, drop your shoulders away from your ears. As your hamstrings start to open more and more, you can slowly walk your feet forward. But again, long spine, shoulders back and down. You're still breathing deeply here. Every exhale, you fold a little deeper. 
On your inhale, roll up your spine and exhale, make your way down to your back, one vertebrae at a time. Once you're all the way down, bend your knees and plant your feet again. Figure four, cross the right ankle over your left thigh and interlace your hands behind your left leg. Flex your right heel away from you to protect your right knee. Hug your legs in towards your chest as you reach your tailbone away from you. Feel your spine lengthen along the mat. Your left foot can stay relaxed. Breathe here. You should feel your right hip, right glute. Release your hands, uncross your legs, switching sides. Le left ankle over your right thigh, flex your left heel away from you. Interlace your hands behind your right leg, and again pull the legs in as you reach your tailbone down. Notice where you might be gripping. Relax your forehead, release your jaw, push your shoulders down away from your ears. Release your hands, uncross your legs, hug your knees into your chest, and take a few more circles. When you're ready, open your feet up to happy baby. Soles of your feet up to the ceiling, arms on the insides of your legs, hands on the outsides of your feet or ankles, wherever you can grab. You can hold still, you can continue rocking, maybe extend your legs open and close. When you're ready, hug the knees back in and begin to make your way into your final resting pose. If there's any other last pose you want to finish with, take what you need. And then once you're in your final rest, allow your body to fully relax. Breath becomes natural, weight falls heavy. Shavasana.
slowly begin to deepen your breath. Bring movement to your fingers and your toes. Rock your head side to side. Bring life back into your body. As you inhale, reach both arms up and back beside your ears, full body stretch. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest, one last squeeze. Roll to one side, pausing in the fetal position, pose of rebirth, renewal. And with the help of your hands, press yourself up to a comfortable seated position, keeping the eyes closed, spine tall. Exhale everything out. Slowly take a deep inhale through your nose. Lift your arms above your head. Open mouth, exhale, hands to your heart. Bow your chin to your chest with love, gratitude, compassion. Namaste. Thanks for practicing with me.